You know, I gotta tell you, this editing stuff can be really tough, but fishing can be tough too. The toughest kind of fishing that I've ever done really is tarpon fishing. There's a couple rolling outside my place, probably 100 pounders. I was in the mood to try to catch one of their smaller cousins. As bait, I was using the Miralore Catch 2000. Caught a lot of fish on this. Redfish, snook. And today, I was hoping to catch a tarpon. I've had awful luck trying to catch these fish in the past. But today, as I twitched the lure slowly, I got lucky. I felt like I got a pretty good hook set on this fish. And all those treble hooks sometimes can hold too well. But the first time he jumped would really be the tell. So far so good, he was still on there. And next thing I know I had a little tarpon right next to the dock. I was thinking this is going to be the first fish I ever land. <laughs> About time, huh? Nice little guy. I probably should have been getting the net instead of just taking a selfie with the fish. <laughs> this has been a long time coming. How about that? The net was right there, and all I had to do was scoop him up. I hit him with the net that time. And that was the closest I was going to get. So close. Unfortunately, that fish swam away with my lure. No pictures of me holding tarpon this day. Well, you didn't think I was going to end the video there, did you? <laughs> you don't have something like that happen to you and just give up. Of course, the very next morning I was out there again. And again, something really cool happened. Check it out. Hmm. Your horns and traffic off in the distance. I don't miss doing that. Let's see if there's any fish. Most times in the morning, the water is very flat, so it's easy to see ripples, like this one. That was clearly a tarpon right next to the dock. A little flip of the wrist, and I had a lure right where that fish was. But unfortunately, that fish wasn't interested. I cast a bunch of times off in the distance where I saw other fish rolling. They were out here this morning, and there was a lot of them. Not the big hundred pounders, but a bunch of little juveniles. And again, I was going to get a chance to tangle with one of them. <laughs> I couldn't believe that two mornings in a row, I got a hook up. And again, it felt like a good one. I buried the trebles of that Catch 2000 deep in that fish. Again, I started thinking to myself, this could be the day that I land my first tarpon. I tried to be calm. And give him a little slack every time he jumped. Camera. I also kept on a little pressure to try to keep him out from underneath the dock. Heavy. He's right there. 
Ooh. Again, the moment of truth. Come here, dude. I want to take a picture. No, no, no. This way, this way, this way. Oh. Wow. He's a beauty. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> oh, he spit the hook for me. <laughs> Isn't that nice? For a very long time now, since the first time I hooked one of these fish, I've been looking forward to the moment I'd be able to hold one. I did it! Unbelievable. <laughs> no gentle release for that fish. Maybe he's ready to go back. Unbelievable. I had the cut of my thumb and everything to prove it. Ah. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe it. Ah. Thankful to have my net here. Thank you guys. Thank you, Ranger Nets. And my Catch 2000. I don't know how many fish I've caught on that thing. And look at this. The guy even gave me a souvenir. Whew, man. You guys have been following me for how long? And mm, finally did it. Finally, finally, finally. Can't believe it. <laughs> Man, what do we catch next? I see some alligator gar out there. Maybe I'll spend another like eight years, ten years chasing them. I always do enjoy sharing moments like this with you guys. And I know, of course, there's plenty of you out there who might be able to catch fish like this all the time and to whom it's not really a big deal. But to me, that little fish meant an awful lot. And I happen to know that there's lots of other people out there who also would love to catch a fish like that and enjoy going on these journeys with me. And for those of you who have been on this journey with me for a long time now, you know that I'm opening this kayak rental place and I want to share this with you guys as well. And anybody out there who would like to come here and learn a little something about kayaking and doesn't already know it all, like I most certainly don't, come on down, check us out. I have a new website, you can go there. And there's also a new YouTube page where some of these videos are going to be put up. So there's a lot more avenues for content and a lot of ways for all of us to learn together. So thanks again for being with me as always.